So try to answer this question here. The tensile stress in the 7 8 inch diameter threaded rod, what is the tensile stress if it's loaded at 4 kips? Okay. So this guy here is, a, this one here is the 7 8 inch diameter rod. On the problem, they've already calculated the area for us. Okay. So let's take a look at it. It's always good to draw diagrams, right? We can do our free body diagram if we want. We can say the rod has a force of 4 kips or 4,000 pounds. So 4 kips going in both directions. And we know our area. Again, the area we're talking about is this cross-sectional area. So the area is 0 0.302 inches squared. So our stress Sigma is equal to force divided by area, 4,000 pounds or 4 kips divided by 0 0.302 inches squared. When we do that math, we get 13.25 kips per inch squared, much higher than we had in the diagonal beam. So again, looking at this, what we're looking at is a steel rod right here under tension of four kips. Okay, so how do you think that compares to strength of steel? You think that steel can handle 13,250 uh, pounds in every square inch? Well, it turns out that if we had steel, okay, steel, what we call mild steel, and we're going to go spend a whole semester on this next semester, A36 steel, the yielding capacity, Fy, is 36 KSI. Um, stronger steel, like A992 steel, the yield capacity is 50 KSI. And if we had cable, cable like you'd see in a, in a rigging on a crane or something, the yield capacity of that is around 270 KSI. So again, we're okay in this sense. Okay, we're much lower. If it, we would have to know what the material properties were, but we're probably okay here for a steel rod. Okay.